Hey guys, Swap here. So, you know very well I came back here after a really long time. But yeah, I'm back. So, here I am back with my another video on the which, which I am providing you the Sad Junctions audiobook. The content of it is derived by via my notes. So, without any delay, let's get started. When cells come in contact with one another and synthesize with the extracellular matrix, specialized junctions form at specific sites on the contact cell membranes. This specialized junction may be classified into several different categories. First, occluding junctions, second, adhesive junctions which include cell to cell, that is, adhesive junction desmosomes, cell to matrix, focal digestion, hemidesmosomes. Third one is communicating junctions, another important term that is cellular junction that completely encircles the cell by the adult like macula junction that is more circumscribed in content, spot like fascia. Junction that occupies only a patch is strip of cell surface. Combinations of these is known as junctional complex. At molecular level, they can be into a transmembrane and the protein, cytoplasmic elliptic protein, such as cattle filament. So, now when first of all, we talk about the uh, tie junction or occluding junction. Let's begin a tie junction. They are unique with the epithelium opposing cell membrane that are held in contact by the presence of transmembrane and the proteins arranged in an atomizing transaction circle circle into cellular and space arbitrated. Transmembrane and the protein include occluding members of clone family. The tightness of junction correlates with the number of strands of transmembrane proteins. Example, salivary and secretory cells, two thirds strands relatively permeable, salivary and stereo duct cells, six to nine strands relatively impermeable to water. So now when we talk about functions of the tie junctions, they control the passage of the material, thus the intercellular space, and next is functionally defined and maintained two major domains of the cell membranes, apical and basolateral surface. Another important term is fascia occlusions, the endothelial lining of all the blood vessels except the NCS. So now when we talk about adhesive junction or include cells, first of all includes adhesive junctions. It's the principal transmember and adhesive proteins member of catherine family. Cytoplasmic adhesive proteins members of catherine family which interact with the cytoplasmic domain of transmembrane gathering molecule with cytoskeleton with other proteins. They firstly include all adherents. The catherine family members each gather on a level just below occlusion at a level just below. They are two parallel vertex junctions. A spot like macula junctions are also present because the parallel axon adherents occupies the middle intermediate position of functional complex it is referred to as an intermediate junction primary role in prevention of cell separation during various conductor activities maintenance of tension in the membrane another such cell entering junction is asmosome so the gathering asmoglobin and asmocyclins is interaction of the transmembrane proteins with their form adjacent cell result in a dense line in the middle of the intercellular space at the asmosomes another is the gathering dimoplankin and picoglobin which forms an electron dense plaque which serves as attachment for cytoskeleton components which encase asmosome or intermediate filaments Metals of the filaments are anchored to this like back through first tensile forces abundant in every membrane that are adapted to withstand fear and tear examples are stratified squamous skeleton and epithelium. They also consume proteins into rings and gatherings. Into rings are heterodimers of different alpha and beta subunits with specificity for various extracellular matrix molecules. And when talk about gatherings, they are calcium ion dependent proteins that interact homotypically with gatherings of adjacent cell. So now when we talk about the another category in this cell to cell matrix junction, it includes four gatherings and hydrosomes. We are in a structural organization similar to cell to adhesive junction, but they use different molecular components and attach the cell to different cellular extracellular matrix. They firstly include focal additions. They are transmembrane component member of the integrin family. Cytoplasmic adapter proteins, actin, binding proteins like alpha actin molecule, alin, alin, cell transmembrane integrants to the actin type skeleton, binding for integrin to collagen, laminin, fibroxin, as other extracellular matrix proteins result in recruitment and remodeling of actin type skeleton. They are also activates various intercellular signaling molecules. Another is the hemidesmosomes. So they link the basal surface of the epithelial cell to base lamina and those additional extracellular molecule to the rest of the extracellular matrix. Transmembrane is the protein integral alpha beta which binds specifically to the basal lamina, glac protein lamina and collagen. 17 BP180. Cytosmic proteins, balloons, permeates, 
M for white and region to 30 and has it been formed as black and cytoplasmic so free of the high desmosomes, which function as an attachment site for intermediate filaments. Integral laminin 1 signaling interaction at the basal cells of its regulated cell polarization and cell differentiation programs in epithelial cells and as I wait to distribute trans cell sharing focuses the user epithelium. So now when we talk about last category that is gap junction, so there are excess sites in food for bone are black like regions in cellular space narrows to 2 3 mm. In transmembrane as the proteins connect in family from aqueous channel merging the cytoplasm of the adjacent cell. The connections in one cell pair with connections in the adjacent cell to create a open channel. So now let's talk about something else important of so this collagen. So this collagen basically, so it is fiber which is created by the fibroblasts that are the most predominant protein in the body. About one third of the body protein is collagen. It constitutes about 75% of the skin. It is responsible for scaffolding of the body, control cell shape and differentiation, regeneration of broken bones, proliferation of blood vessels, healing of wounds. It can be arranged as individual fibers as in the loose tissues. Open with the system, large fiber bundles are clumped together as the so now moving on the types of collagen, there are major types and several minor types, or at least 19 different are So guys, bye bye. Thanks so much guys for watching this video. And if you love my content, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to stay connected with me. All these for such videos, audiobooks, search codes, and everything on here with Creative app.